fair to the business community uh, since they're already doing it. Why charge them for another license? Why put the staff through another inspection? And we just tried to be supportive from an industry uh, perspective to have the, the law changed. So it's, uh, it's, it's a win for everyone. State officials gathered at the Mechanicsburg Houses today, marking the end of the frozen desert law of 1965. This issue got a lot of people talking last year. It imposed serious costs and hassles on businesses, but many, including State Ag Secretary Russell Redding, say the law was silly. Seth Kaplan reports. We always want to dig a little deeper, don't we? The frozen desert law of 1965 repealed unanimously. Got Secretary Russ Redding here for us. We want to ask you some tough questions about this because yeah. I'm just concerned. I'm looking at this law, which protected us against adulterated or deleterious frozen desserts. Without this law, what do I do about adulterated or deleterious, deleterious frozen desserts? Keep eating. <laughs> Keep eating. Uh, the, the benefit um, is to the business. Uh, as consumers, we will see no difference. Businesses started to say, why am I doing this twice? Why are you coming out here to look at my, you know, my yogurt machine uh, when it's already done by the inspector? They have a bunch of definitions in here. They don't define deleterious, which is probably the one thing they should have, but they tell us, you know, what, what a frozen dessert is. Everything from uh, French custard ice cream to Quiescently frozen dairy confection. How, without this law, will I know what a quiescently frozen dairy confection is? <laughs> You're funny, right? This is where this is all inside. <laughs> do you, now, be, now, be honest, Secretary so Redding. Do, do, do you know? Do you know what a do you know what no, a you should probably is. define that on <laughs> air tonight. Right? I, I looked it up. It's a, it's a popsicle. <laughs> it turns out I had no idea. It says the Department of Agriculture shall prevent deception in the sale of frozen desserts. So, I mean, you're in charge of yeah. preventing this deception. Are you going to keep doing that without this? You, you will not, not be deceived. Okay. <laughs> Punishment was uh, for violating the law $25. It was a lot in a lot 1965 or up to yeah. 30 days in county jail. Don't play with the dessert. Secretary Russ Ray, thank you so much for playing along. <laughs> you're, you're good. I, I'm going to watch tonight. Give me that definition. I will. Popsicle. It's a quiescently frozen, whatever that said. It's a popsicle. Coverland County, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News.